Hey everybody, Mr. Boo here, and today, totally different, not city related, but very exciting Lego related news. Um, regardless, as you can see behind me, I have a new build table. Now, funny story, um, back in the day, I actually used to build on the floor in this room. I didn't have a build table because in my mind, I felt like, oh, you know what? I really need to maximize space. I need to, for displaying, for city building, for all that stuff. And I said, I don't need a table, it's fine, whatever, I'll just build on the floor. Well, as I've gotten older, I realize my back doesn't like that so much. So um, I broke down finally and I got a teeny tiny little build table. And it was, I mean, it was small. And um, it was really nice, <laughs> I'll admit. Once I got it, I was like, wow, this is a game changer. And I utilized it for actually almost three years in this room. Um, it worked it worked well. Uh, it was very small, limited though, so I didn't have a lot of space to spread out to do a, you know a lot of big building, work on multiple projects at the same time. It was just kind of limiting. So finally, with this whole Lego room redesign, I decided it was time to get a bigger build table. So I searched high and low, actually found something that was reasonably priced um, and fit the space, which was really tricky because I'm kind of constrained because I had to actually have a door right here and a fireplace right there. And so it's tough to fit this little L-shaped space, but I really wanted an L-shaped desk, which is kind of what you see behind me. So let's take a closer look at my new building space. To me, it's important to have build space that's in the Lego room because I love looking at all the Lego. And so sometimes I'll build out in the family room or the dining room table, depending on the set. If it's a really big set and I really need to spread out, um, I'll do that or if I want to spend time with the family. But you know, a lot of times this is my hobby and this is my downtime. So I come in here to de-stress and unwind after a busy day at work or a stressful day, you know, dealing with things. And so uh, to me, it was really important to have the build space with my room, with my display space so that I could enjoy, you know, the everything that I've created and done while building. It's just that total immersion that really makes me um, feel happy and it's like my fortress of solitude, <laughs> as I like to say in this area. Um, so as you can see, this is the new table. Um, it's L-shaped. It has a huge amount of table space. And right now it's all cluttered because I'm actually still putting stuff away and organizing things and figuring out how I want to organize it, which is, again, it's part of the fun for me. But um, the end result is this is going to give me a whole lot of room to work on. The old table was like cut off about there and um, it was cluttered with stuff and tchotchkes and all kinds of fun stuff. This one actually has a bigger hutch on top, which I really like. So I have a lot more display space. Um, and just for these are some of the things that are just really special to me and things that um, don't necessarily fit in other places. But having this this um, display space while I work and some of the stuff to look at is really nice. It makes it really, uh, really cool. I have my Sig Fig collection here with my Maxi Figs some vintage castles, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, Grogu sitting up there with some minions, just like little, you know, VIP gifts and things that I've gotten from Lego and friends over the years. And of course, just lots of my brick badges, just things like this just make me smile and make me really um, grateful and appreciative of all of you, really. It's a reminder of the community and everyone. And as I build, I feel like feel like you're all kind of with me building. You know, that sounds weird and it sounds kind of like sentimental or sappy or whatever, but it's true though, because it is, I feel like, um, you know, I can kind of channel our collective energy while I'm solving problems or trying to figure out things or getting inspiration. This is just, this is just how, I, how I do it and how I think. I don't know if I'm gonna leave this chest here. This, this takes up a lot, it's nice, but it takes up a lot of room and I don't really use these parts very often. I may actually move it over here, which is something new. This used to be a display space. Um, but I decided since I actually ha used to have that big tall bookcase right here and that actually had some bins with the common parts that I would use. So what I decided was to pull out the display and actually these, these little mini shelves fit perfectly or mini drawers fit perfectly. Um, this piece actually might fit over there as well. I'll probably move the sand crawler. Um, I just have the Lion Knight Castle here temporarily because I love it. It may actually go, you know, up, up here maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But um, yeah, lots of options, lots of flexibility. There's some drawers and stuff as well with this, which are really nice. Um, there's some cabinet space down here. You know, like I say, very inexpensive uh, desk, but very practical for what I need. And again, it matches the theme of the room. So I'm going to switch from the black to the white. Um, it really makes the room bigger. It really brightens things up. Um, as you've seen from the, the cabinets behind me, let's spin around real quick. Um, it's just the whole 
theming of the room is just really nice and it just really opens up. The room makes it a lot bigger and brighter. So there you have it. Don't neglect your build space. That's the lesson for today. Um, if you can, try to squeeze in a build space you know, in your Lego area where you're displaying or your Lego room if you have that. Um, but it's something you shouldn't overlook because it really helps. It, I don't know, it's just fun. You know, it's fun to be, like I say, immersed in this area. I'm, I'm, as I'm talking in the camera with my build table behind me, I'm staring at my city and just like, wow, this is really cool. You know, and looking at all the display stuff up on the shelves. Uh, it's just really, it's just really nice. I just love the feeling. I love the vibe I get in this room. Um, as I mentioned, the color scheming is really important. Um, the white really brightens things up, makes the room actually bigger. Um, also the reconfiguration of this room. It was a little claustrophobic before. It was a little packed in with furniture and stuff. Um, the new layout here is a lot more open. This, especially this area right here where I'm sitting and talking to you, you can comfortably have four or five people right here looking at things and looking around without having to worry about bumping into stuff and knocking things over and things. So there's a lot of considerations as you're designing your room. Uh, but again, don't overlook this space because it's critical for your building, but also for your own well-being, I feel. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thank you for all the feedback. You all are amazing, and I appreciate each and every one of you. And I'll be back soon with another LEGO video. Take care. Bye.